Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today's video is of two parts, one good news and one big bad news. Alhamdulillah, Muslims bought the historic church in Luton, England, the Bury Park United Reformed Church. And inshallah, it will turn from a place of polytheism to a place of monotheism where only the creator of the heavens and the earth is worshipped without any partners. And I will address the Christian critics who are not happy with such purchase. But for the bad news, what if I tell you a Muslim majority country banned Muslim women from wearing hijab and made it illegal for Muslim children before the age of 18 to go to the mosque? Would you believe me? I never expected it would come a time that I would ever hear such news. But sadly, this is the truth. But let's start with the good news and read what the Christians have to say. Historic English church taken over and turned into a mosque in the Islamist hotbed of Bury Park, Luton, discussing. Of course, they use the word Islamist. These people love to use buzzwords just to confuse the people as if they made a point when they didn't. The real question should be why the church was sold, not why Muslims bought it. And with a simple Google search, they'll be able to find the reason. After 128 years, Bury Park United Reformed Church is set to close its doors for the last time as it amalgamates with the other United Reformed Churches in Luton. So according to Luton today, the church closed because it merged with other United Reformed churches and in total, five churches are set to merge. This is why it was closed. Subhanallah, they only cared about this church when Muslims enter it. But when it was empty and closed, they didn't care about it. And Christians should ask themselves this important question, how come five churches merge into one and yet people will still be able to attend church services. Wouldn't it be overcrowded if you combined five churches into one? Well, of course not because Christianity is in the decline and not as many people go to the church anymore. And Christians like these are wasting their time criticizing us Muslims instead of focusing on their own religion and calling people to it if they truly believe it is the truth. England and Wales are now minority Christian countries for the first time since census data collection began with less than half the population describing themselves as Christian. But when these Christians hear such news, they turn to us Muslims as if we are the reason they are not going to the church anymore. They are just jealous of our religious dedication, they are jealous of our brotherhood, and they are jealous that our wives obey their husbands. Alhamdulillah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our sisters and protect them from the liberal feminist agenda because they are the ones educating the next generation of Muslims, which is a very great and important job. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aid them in producing the next scholars and the future Ummah and inshallah be upon the Quran and the Sunnah according to the understanding of the seller. And by the way, this church is part of the National Heritage List for England and it has been a very important church since 1895. But it makes you wonder, are we wasting too much time giving dawah in the West and are we neglecting other parts of the world? Because how come we let Albania's Muslim population drop below 50% for the first time in centuries? And it seems nothing is being done to rectify this or answer the doubts and questions of the next generation in Albania. If there is, please let me know. Are there any people giving dawah there or answering the doubts about Islam in the Albania? Albanian language, but the real bad news isn't just this, but what's happening in Tajikistan, which is a country that is supposed to be more than 97% Muslim. But sadly, Islam is under attack there. According to the US 2023 report on international religious freedom in Tajikistan, the law restricts Islamic prayer to specific locations, regulates the registration and location of mosques, and prohibits persons younger than 18 from participating in public religious activities. Subhanallah, in Tajikistan, a Muslim majority country, you should be at least 18 years old to be able to participate in public religious activities. This is a catastrophe. So a 15 years old Muslim in Tajikistan isn't allowed to pray the Eid prayer or even go with his parents to the mosque. So you must be 18 years old to be able to learn how the Eid prayer goes or even how the house of Allah looks like. لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. How can parents instill in their children the law for praying in the mosque if they are not allowed to take them at a younger age? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for our brothers and sisters in Tajikistan 
and protect them. This is a great cause to unite upon. Don't waste our time with Sunni Shia unity nonsense. Let's all unite to make Islam great again in Tajikistan according to the Quran and the Sunnah. And Tajikistan is a country that was brought to Islam in the 7th century, which means Islam entered Tajikistan in the 1st century of Islam. But sadly, now hijab is banned in it. And even the beard is banned. Earlier this week, police in Tajikistan's Khaltun region said that they had shaved the beards of nearly 13,000 men as part of an anti-radicalization campaign. Subhanallah, these policies against Islam aren't new. But it seems nobody cares as if our brothers and sisters in Tajikistan aren't part of the Ummah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us all to what pleases Him and help the Muslims all around the world to practice their religion free from any innovation misguidance or restriction. It was narrated from Abu Hurair radiallahu an that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Islam began as something strange and will go back to being strange so glad tidings to the strangers. I hope you benefited from this video. You can also watch this video about Sunni Shia unity and don't forget to subscribe to not miss any future uploads. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum.